Hi, my name is Kenlin, and I will be showing you how to create a jelly gummy text effect in Photoshop. So first, I'm going to start by creating a new file. The canvas size will be 7 by 5 inches at 300 ppi in RGB color mode. So first, we're going to open our layers panel, and we are going to create a new color fill layer. I will be using a coral color that I already pre-selected. Next, we're going to be using our text tool to create the word we would like. Once you open the text tool, make sure you open the character and paragraph panel. I will be using the Cooper Standard font in black and 100 point font size. Then just make sure the paragraph is centered. The word I'm using is Haribo, like the popular gummy bear brand. I thought it would match my text well. Then once you have the text written out, you can use the move tool to reposition it if you would like. I'm just going to move mine to the center where I want it. After this, um, we are going to create a shape. You can use the custom shape tool or you can create your own using selections like I'm doing. I'm opening up a Google image that I saved and I'm opening the object selection tool, making sure sample all layers is selected. To clean up my selection, I'm going to be using the quick selection tool and the alt option key to subtract any areas that the object selection tool didn't get. Then I'm going up to the toolbar to select and mask and I'm going to clean up my selection so making sure object aware is the refine mode I'm going to turn the shift edge all the way down to negative 100% then I'm going to turn smooth up to 100% now that the selection is refined I'm going to take the paint bucket tool and fill it in with black. So there it is. There is the gummy bear shape that I wanted. And I'm going to copy and paste it onto my other file with my text. Now I'm going to use the move tool to reposition the shape to where I want it. Then I'm going to merge the text and shape layers by clicking on the shape layer and then shift clicking on the text layer and then command E. After that, I will be converting the layer to a smart object because later we will be using a filter which will be destructive if we don't make it a smart object first. Then we're going to turn the fill to 0% and use command J to make three copies of the layer. Then we want to label these copies to stay organized. The first layer will be the bottom. Then the next one text and then highlight one and highlight two. Once this is done, we will be working on the text layer first. We want to open the layer style effects and select bevel and emboss. So the style will be inner bevel, the technique smooth, the depth 160%, Direction up, size 15, soften 0, deselect 
use light global light the angle 115 degrees altitude 65 degrees change the gloss contour to ring and select anti-alias highlight mode screen opacity 100 percent shadow mode color burn opacity 20 percent then we're going to click on the contour and go into the editor. Preset linear and move the line to 0% input and 80% output. And then click OK. Then the contour will stay the same, anti-alias deselected and range 30%. Next, we are using color overlay. Blend mode normal, change the color. I'm using a red that I pre-selected. Then click OK and Opacity 100%. Next, we are going to use Inner Glow. Blend Mode, Color Dodge, Opacity 10%, Noise 0%. Color, color White, Technique, Softer, Source, Center, Choke 60%, size 30. Don't change the contour. Anti alias deselected. Range 50%, jitter 0%. Next, we are using drop shadow. Blend mode multiply. Change the color. I'm using a dark red that I pre selected. Click OK. Opacity 75%, use global light selected, angle 120 degrees, distance 2, spread 5, size 10, and then the rest stays the same as the default settings. So working on highlight 1, we are going to open the effects and select bevel and emboss. Style inner bevel, technique smooth, depth 160%, direction up, size 15, soften 2, deselect use global light, angle 135%, Altitude 75%, Gloss Contour Ring, Anti-Alias Selected, Highlight Mode, Screen, Opacity 100%, Shadow Mode Color Burn, Opacity 20%, and click OK. Then copy and paste the effect from this layer to the Highlight 2 layer by holding the Alt Option key while clicking on the layer effect and dragging it to the layer where you want to paste it. and toggle the visibility. Then we are going to edit the bevel and emboss. The only thing we are changing is the angle to negative 145 degrees. Then we are going to copy and paste the bevel and emboss and co color overlay effects from the text layer to the bottom layer. Then open the effects and select inner shadow. Blend mode multiply, opacity 75%, Angle 120%, use global light selected. Distance 2, choke 0, size 10, and the rest stays the same. Then we're going to filters and selecting blur and Gaussian blur as 8 pixels. Then I am locking all of the copy layers and working on the bottom layer. We're going to move the text on this slightly downwards. Then. I am going to unlock all of the layers. I decided I wasn't happy with how the blur looked, so I'm going to change that. I'm changing the radius to 12 pixels instead of 8. Next, I'm going to toggle the visibility of the background layers. And while having the top layer selected, I'm going to use Command Shift Alt E, Alt -E to create a composite copy layer of the text layers below. I will be using this 
to change the color of the text and shape, make, making each one a different color in a rainbow array. I toggle the visibility to hide all layers below, but I turn on the color fill layer. Then I am selecting everything on this layer by holding the command key while clicking on the thumbnail. Then I am creating a hue saturation layer and creating a clipping mask. Then I am adjusting the properties to change the color to orange instead of red. Once this is done and I find the color that I like, I am clicking on the hue saturation mask and using the brush tool in black, and I am painting over all of the letters except the A to hide them. So this hue saturation layer will only affect the A, making it orange, while the rest stay red. Once this is done, I am going to repeat what I did previously and select everything on the composite layer, then making a hue saturation mask and clipping mask. Then using command J, I am going to make enough copies to edit the rest of the letters and shape. Next, I am repeating the process of painting black on the mask to hide the letters that I don't want to be affected by the hue saturation effect on each layer. Remember when painting on masks that while white reveals, black conceals. And then we have our final product. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to save.